So what, what's kind of the mix of businesses down there? Do you have a little, Amazing. We basically spend about 24 hours in every town. So we got to we got to Aberdeen today at uh, about noon. We'll leave about noon tomorrow. We just, we pop in and see as many businesses as we can. When we finalize the top five, then we have a public vote for the winner. So we come in and help the small t small businesses in small towns learn how to market themselves and um, that then translates into more people find out what we do and um, it really kind of helps build our brand while helping um, put the spotlight on small businesses. It's a bigger community than I was expecting, it's very spread out, um, but uh, you know it's great. You know, everybody's been really friendly so far, uh, the businesses that we've dropped into have been very welcoming, you know, we're, we're just really enjoying it so far. You know, every small business is a little bit different. What we see, you know, just looking in the, the little, t little bit of time we've been in Aberdeen, you've got great facades downtown, um, but maybe some things need to be, you know, updated a little bit, some, some, some new awnings maybe, some uh, different looks to buildings, um, things like that. You know, what we found in the two towns that we've gone to already that won uh, our contest, um, they, they needed, you know, maybe just a little sprucing up. Um, and, and the businesses themselves needed like just a little extra attention. It's super invigorating to meet small business owners who are just so excited because I know that the town leaders here have been putting in as much work as we have just being on the road. So that's what's, you know, really energizing for us to be able to do this. The real win in all of this is win or lose, these 10 communities start thinking differently about how they come together, how their business community comes together, and how they start sharing what's great about um, their, their community itself. So we found last year Red Wing Minnesota finished in second in the contest. They decided not to enter this year because they felt such a lift from just being in the contest last year. So their whole downtown is full now because they took the momentum that they started with the small business revolution and put it into talking about how do we make our downtown better. And that's what we really are trying to do. It's all about a movement of celebrating small businesses.